वॉट इज इट डेंटल बोन क्राफ्ट एंड वाई डू यू नीड अ डेंटल बोन क्राफ्ट हाउ मच डज इट कॉस्ट एंड वॉट आर इट्स इम्प्लीकेशन लाइक यू डोंट नो अबाउट अ बोन ग्राफ्ट एंड योर डेंटिस्ट टेल्स यू दैट यू नीड अ बोन ग्राफ्ट इन योर सिचुएशन मेड बी फॉर अ इम्प्लांट और फॉर अ गम्स डिजीज ट्रीटमेंट और एनी सिचुएशन लाइक दैट so in this video myself dr ankit i will be explaining you about the need of bone graft types of bone graft cost of bone graft and everything what you need to know about bone graft Uh, greetings from uh, Serapic Dental in Dor India I am Dr Ankit I am a maxillofacial and a dental implant surgeon we have been practicing implant dentistry since 15 years now and uh, many times we encounter situations where we need to put in bone graft so basically bone graft is a artificial bone substitute for the natural bone to be put in at the places where the natural bone is deficient in someone's jaw suppose you want to put an implant at a place where you have lost your natural teeth and the bone volume available there for the implant surgery is not sufficient implant needs to get good anchorage in the natural bone and if that is not available then you need to rebuild that so most commonly you do with the help of a artificial bone substitute called as a bone graft second indication for bone graft is that Uh, many times because of periodontal disease i mean because of the gums disease which we commonly call as pyri also in common language in those conditions the gums recede the gums leave the tooth surface and they go on uh, shrinking they go on receding and the bone inside the gums is also receding we cannot see that we can see only the gum from outside we cannot see the bone from inside but when you see on the x ray you will see that the bone level ideally should be at the junction of the crown and the root as you see here this is your crown part of the tooth and this is the root part of your tooth and this is the junction of the crown and the root so ideally the bone levels should be up to here but if the bone level are receding see this you see in this picture now ideally the bone levels should be here but where are the bone levels they are so much receded your bone is lost in this region so now if you want your teeth to stay in there for a long period of time so that you enjoy good aesthetics and good function good chewing out of them with your natural teeth then you need to rebuild this lost bone by putting in something which is most commonly the bone graft synthetic bone substitute for natural bone sometimes we put natural bone graft also that is we take out the bone from some other place in the body some other side from the mouth and if required in large quantities from some other bone also and we put in that natural bone which is being harvested from some other site in the body to the deficient area where we want to rebuild the bone so this is a natural bone graft but this incorporates one more surgical site for that to take out a natural bone graft i have to uh, do a surgery on some other site in your body so we try to avoid that and we use artificial bone substitutes which are the commonly available bone grafts in the market there are some specific situations where we need lot of bone lot of volume to be rebuilt in accidental cases or reconstruction after cancer surgeries or uh, gunshot injuries some blast injuries something like those where lot of bone has been shattered it's been comminuted destroyed and you need to build a large volume of bone in those cases we need to take out bone graft from some other distant site in the body also we need to do a second surgery in the body to get to harvest bone from somewhere else most commonly we take it from the iliac crest so we take out that bone and we uh, give this desired shape to it desired volume to it and then we put in at the deficient area but commonly for the uh, for the treatment of uh, gums issues like pyria and periodontal bone loss uh, generally we use the artificial bone substitutes because they are easily available patient does not have to go another surgery for harvesting bone from his own body and especially for the implant surgeries also mostly we use the artificial bone substitutes so there are many companies available in these bone grafts but in my experience and in experience of many other implantologists who regularly do bone grafting what we see is that only there are very few companies whose bone grafts will actually give you good result a successful result rest all are just names 
you uh, are putting just white powder which will go away with time it will give you nothing but there are only a very few companies we have to work with only those companies which uh, make that quality of bone graft and that quality of membrane covering the bone graft the bone graft has to be covered by a membrane also prints you see in this picture this is the bone graft we have put in at the deficient site and this is how the membrane is covering that bone graft we need a cover over the membrane we need a sheet over the, uh, that uh, bone graft we need something to cover that bone graft which is called a membrane so there are very few companies who make quality bone graft and good membranes so that is a bit costly bone grafting to get a good result good aesthetic outcome good regeneration of bone is a costly affair so you have to understand that bone grafting will not only require some additional skill time expertise and surgery from your doctor but it will also require additional cost incurred because of the bone graft material itself i am not taking the names of the companies in this videos but still uh, when you talk when you when, uh, in what from whatever place in the world you are listening to me when you go to your dentist so you uh, tell your dentist that i want the bone grafting to be done only from the top most bone graft company you have to tell this if you have to uh, if you have to have a good result you have to tell this otherwise bone grafting is senseless so i hope i am clear that what is a bone graft why do we need a bone graft in implantology we need a bone graft because the implant needs bone where will my implant get tightened where will my implant get anchorage from from the bone and the bone is not there my implant will move like this and come out with time so there is no point in putting the implant also then so it it has been of paramount importance in implantology the bone grafting uh, there are many situations where the bone has resolved and you want to put implant there so you need to do bone grafting and you need to put a membrane also over that bone graft so <clears throat> if you do uh, if you follow all the scientific protocols techno technically you are uh, uh, planning your case well you are executing that surgery and bone grafting well so you believe that uh, in a period of time in a period of few months or say a couple of years good bone will form there and you can hope your uh, implant to do well in long term there are some situations where you have to wait for that bone graft to consolidate to get converted into natural bone then you put implant if the uh, bone deficiency is more lot of bone graft is being put in there is no bone to uh, put an implant in the first go then you just do bone grafting wait for that graft to get incorporated there wait for that graft to get converted into good natural bone so that you can uh, go in at the second stage of surgery after a few months and then you can place your implant and there are some situations where you put an implant in the first time itself and then you do grafting over that implant so both of these things do happen depends upon how much deficiency of bone is being encountered and what is exactly your requirement so these are some common facts about bone grafting um if you talk about uh, cost in indian currency i would tell you that uh, if i want to do bone grafting over one implant so it will cost me around 15000 rupees in indian currency so this is how we calculate in india and uh, now it depends upon how many implants are there and how many of them need bone grafting uh, need not necessarily all the implants you are putting in require bone graft maybe it's bone is present at some time and absent at uh, some other site so the uh, you have to put graft only where the native bone is not sufficient so likewise you can calculate the cost and discuss with your doctor so i hope that i am able to convey you about the bone graft still if you feel any uh, doubt in your mind so you can please write it down to us we'll be more than happy to answer those Thank you. Namaste.